Okay, uh, so I'm Joseph Chu. Uh, I'm a senior here at BYU, and I am studying microbiology. That's my major. Sweet. Mm -hmm. Here we have you standing next to this beautiful work of art. This is yours, right? <laughs> it in fact is, yes. That is great. Do you mind telling us, like, why, what are we doing here and why are we showcasing this? Yeah, sure. So, um, in like a quick way of explaining is um, the Neil A. Maxwell Institute of Religious Scholarship, they held the their first Book of Mormon contest, art contest, where they wanted uh, students from BYU from across all majors and different backgrounds to submit art um, concerning like a number of different topics from the Book of Mormon and um, yeah it was open to everyone and um, I obviously participated and <laughs> I was fortunate enough to win first place in the contest. Yeah? Yeah. And how did you feel when, when they told you the news? I mean <laughs> it's it was pretty surreal because um, initially, at least when I first learned about the contest, my reaction was like, this is amazing, this is super cool. But then like, like I thought about it, I was like, wait, there's like so many other students here who are like actual art majors who, are, who actually study illustration or art, unlike me, because I'm a microbiology major. I, and I was like, I just do art as like a hobby compared to these people. And I was like, there's like so much talent here. So I was like, what's the point of even like doing this? which I'm ashamed to say that was my thought process at the time, but um, a good friend of mine, Adam Hubbs, and my father, they encouraged me to like still go for it. And um, I think over time, over the summer, I thought about it more. I was like, you know what? I should give it a try because it's a cool thing. It's a way for me to contribute something to the BYU community. And I was like, this is a good opportunity for me to, you know, like really push myself to work towards a goal with my art and to like, use that as motivation to help me to really um, increase the quality of my art technique and the way that I produce art and so I did it and I'm very happy that I did because not only did well it's it's nice to win obviously but I think the greater value that I got out of it was my art I did feel like my art really did improve and I feel very proud of um, the way that it's grown through participating in this experience in this uh, competition yeah thank you um, now, would you mind explaining to us what this is supposed to represent and what inspired you to come up with it? Sure, yeah. So, um, in this piece, um, there are two figures that are depicted in here. Um, this figure right here is portraying Christ, and this figure right here that's kind of like laying down, uh, this figure represents us. And uh, the whole focus of this piece was to really reflect on and examine the nature of Christ's relationship with each of us, specifically reg in regards to the concept that through Christ, every person can experience newness in life and what once was maybe dead to them, whether if it's like death in the idea of like uh, physical death of the body or spiritual death or you just feel like you're at a dead end in life, no matter what it is, through our relationship with Christ and through His atonement and His love for us, we can once again find life again in those things that were dead. Yeah, and what inspired it, uh, I would say is mainly um, just kind of some personal reflections of how I feel like Christ has really helped me to overcome challenges in my life and um, and I would say, at least personally for me, I feel very close to Christ. I feel a deep appreciation for His love and for the way that He is able to really understand other people and in, his, in the way that He's able to um, not only bless the world on a very big scale, but also be very personal and um, aware of individual circumstances. That's something that I think is very inspiring and that I really want to be able to live up to one day. That's great, I love that. Mm -hmm. And do you have any last words, anything you'd like to say to inspire someone or do you have a testimony you'd like to share? Um, well, I think 
In terms of testimony, what I can say of a surety is that I do know that Jesus Christ is real, that He is the Savior of the world and of every person, and I think regardless of where we feel like we are in life, um, in our faith, or like in our progression in life, He is always there for us. We always have access to Him, His love and kindness, and it's, it's really a matter of us being willing to, you know, like, believe that and to accept that and to reach out to Him. And it actually brings to mind a quote from Elder Holland that I really love, and I can't quote it verbatim, but the essence of the quote is that no one can sink lower than the reach that the light of Christ has for all of us. And I very much do, do believe in that and find that to be true. And if there were any other last words that I, wa I would want to share, it would be to like thank BYU and the Maxwell Institute for, you know, hosting this contest and making it open to everyone, um, regardless of like how good we feel like we we're at art and stuff. Because I think it's cool to be able to have an opportunity for for the whole student body to really have a chance to, you know, submit art and to let their voices be heard about how they feel about Jesus Christ and the Book of Mormon. And um, I'd say I would also encourage, like, and this doesn't just pertain to art, but I think to everything else too. I think all of us, we have things that we really, really love to do that, you know, it's not something that we have to make ourselves study or like coerce ourselves to. It's just like a natural thing that we feel drawn to. Art is that sort of thing for me. It's always been part of my life, regardless of what stage in life I've been. I've just always loved to do it. And so for people who have things that are similar to that, that they love to do, but it may not be the main focus of their lives, I've just encouraged them to like, to like keep pursuing it, to keep putting time into it. And whenever there's an opportunity for you to share with others, to just go for it because it it's not really a matter of skill or anything like that. I think it's more a matter of um, just wanting to share something that means something to you and having the hope that when you do that and you're showing your sincere efforts in your work that hopefully it will touch and inspire someone else to do the same or at least just like make them happier at least. That's why I have to say. So. Thank you for sharing that. Mm -hmm. um, and where, where is this currently located? Where are we at? So right now, <laughs> we are at the BYU Harold B. Lee Library um, in the hallway that's just right by the American Heritage offices or by the religion section down there, Family History Center area. Here we are. Yeah. Yes, sir. Well, thank you very much for your time. And Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh, wait a second.